Hey, welcome to this week's Daily Dose. Daily Dose series this week on Jonah, the book in the Bible. Now, Jonah, it's this great story. It's a great story that so many of us know. It's a story about this sinful city called Nineveh. And then God sends this guy, Jonah, off to go do something that Jonah himself doesn't actually want to do. So Jonah refuses God and then takes off in the other direction. But then Jonah gets thrown into the sea and swallowed by a whale or a big fish, who then after some time spits him out on the beach. And Jonah is forced to go talk to the Ninevites so that they can change from their evil ways. <laughs> If you've been around the church, or even if you haven't, you've probably heard of this story because it's one of legends. And, and here's the fun part. I actually think that there is so much more depth and meaning to this story than you learned at Sunday school or you learned by watching Veggie Tales. And our team this week is so excited to unpack it further with you. We're going to unpack the book of Jonah. So today I want to give you the backstory to the book of Jonah. Jonah is considered one of the minor prophets in the Bible. And here's the thing that so many people get wrong about the prophets. People assume that prophets, they're speaking into the future somehow. Like, here's this thing that's going to happen in the distant time, in 10 years, 20 years, 50 years. But if you read the Bible and you explore it a little bit more, you'll actually find out that most of the prophets, more often than not, are speaking about the past. They're naming things that are going on in the society that they live in, and they're warning people that if they don't change their ways, something bad is probably going to happen. Prophets are past predictors, not future predictors. It's like someone saying to you, hey, I've noticed that you've eaten fast food all the meals of the day for the last month. If you don't change your ways, it's probably going to affect your heart and probably your waistline. And this is what prophets do. They speak and name into things that they have seen into the past. So Jonah, he is a minor prophet, meaning that his book isn't very long, like some of the major prophets in the Bible. And while it's listed as a minor prophet, it really doesn't follow the same kind of strategy in the book as most of the other minor prophets. Instead, Jonah, it's more like a short story. You could compare it to the book of Ruth in the Bible, which is also more like a short story. But Jonah, our main character in this story, he's ever actually called, not once, called a prophet in this book. Uh, we aren't sure who wrote the book or when it was written, so that is a mystery to scholars. And Jonah is a unique book. It, it's a unique book because it outlines Jonah's life more than it does about what Jonah's speech is all about. So it's more like Jonah's epic journey and what God does through it rather than what Jonah himself actually has to say. And this whole book, this whole Jonah story takes part in the Middle East. Jonah goes to Joppa, which we know now as Tel Aviv in Israel. And it's there in Joppa or Tel Aviv where, where Jonah wants to hitch a ride to Tarshish, which we presume is in the country of Spain, which is the opposite way of going to Nineveh, which is in what we now know as Iraq. And as we work together through the book of Jonah this week on the Daily Dose, I want you to join us and feel free to read Jonah in your Bible. Even if you've read it a hundred times before, read it with us this week or download the Bible app and read it there. And we're going to discuss and discover a few different things this week. Number one, we're going to talk about how difficult it is to sometimes follow God's direction. Number two, we're going to talk about how God is a God that's full of surprises, things we could never imagine. Number three, we're going to talk about how God's love and mercy is for all people, including you, including me, including those Ninevites. And we're going to talk about number four, even if you have a bad attitude about it, God is still going to get to work. Thanks for joining us this week. My team and I, we're so excited as we do a deep dive, see what I did there, into the book of Jonah. We'll see you tomorrow.